Hey, hola amigos, welcome to a new vlog. If you're new here, my name is Steve Yallo and I travel full time and make videos about my experiences traveling in other countries to provide advice, tips and tricks, and motivation to get other people to travel themselves. In this video, I wanna talk about a recent trip I took to Colombia, but first I wanna tell a little backstory about how I got here and, and how I got this opportunity to travel to Colombia. And if you have been watching my previous vlogs, you might be aware that I did recently travel for about three months through Colombia, making so many videos about my experiences. If you haven't seen them, go ahead and watch those. Those are some videos that I'm proud of. It was so fun making those. But I got the attention of someone pretty interesting. So there's this guy, Matt, who reached out to me because he started a business called Welcome to Colombia. And that's what this video is gonna be about today. This is the video I've made for Matt's company. This is gonna be on his website. We're gonna promote it on social media. The overall video I made for him is nine minutes long. I'm not gonna show you guys the exact video. If you do wanna see the exact video I made, you can go to his website. I'll leave a link in the description and go check it out because I made that video. I'm very proud of it. And now I kind of just want to go over you, go over with you how I made this video. Is that cool? During the trip, we went on a few different tours, and of course, Colombia is so well known for the coffee they produce there. So the first tour we did was of a coffee farm. So we just finished our tour here at La Casa de Sabaneta, and it was amazing. <laughs> how the coffee grows, but we actually showed the whole process from start to finish how they make coffee. So it was very informative, much more than I was expecting, and the best part is the whole thing was in English. So I was saying before here in Colombia we only grow Arabica. So we were actually able to understand and learn a lot about the coffee process. So this trip is focused on the city of Medellin. And during our trip, they took us around to some pretty iconic places. And one of my favorites was the area called Comuna 13, or in English, it would be called District 13. Check this out. place called Comuna Trece and I was not expecting this. We did not know this was going on, but there is an official Guinness World Record attempt going on for the longest downhill bike race. <laughs> <What> <laughs> <laughs> so one thing you'll notice immediately when you come here is how artistic this community is. There is so much street art, there's a lot of music playing, people dancing, and just overall good vibes. And it's just, it's just amazing to think that maybe 10, 15 years ago, this, right now, this area was the most dangerous place in the world. And now it is a place where people can come and walk around and enjoy and smile and eat food and have, just have a good time. It's really incredible. So of course we got to show off the nightlife in Colombia. Where we stayed was in an area of the city called El Poblado and that is very famous for the international influence there. That's pretty much where people come to visit. There's a lot of hotels, apartments, hostels. That's where that's where all the foreigners come to visit pretty much. And in this area there's a place called Parque Geras, which is a park and surrounding this park is just a very lively nightlife. During the day it's so quiet because it just comes alive at nighttime. There's a ton of bars and nightclubs and one night we actually threw an event. The Welcome to Columbia had a, an event at Envy Nightclub which is a rooftop bar right in Parque Geras. You get a beautiful view of the city 
And then after that, we went out partying and stuff. But of course, in this video, we gotta show off some nightlife because a lot of the guys on this trip, they came with the intention to party. So had to do that. Check this out. brand motto for Welcome to Colombia is travel with purpose because they're not just a travel agency, they want to actually leave a positive impact on the local community. So part of the proceeds from this trip is actually dedicated to buying supplies for a local orphanage and they actually make a trip to go there and visit the kids and deliver these gifts and of course now it's around Christmas time so not only did we bring supplies like toothpaste and diapers and all the things that they actually requested for the kids, the supplies that they use. Uh, we also brought some gifts. So we got to go there, deliver these gifts and, and hang out with the kids ourselves. And it was a really good experience. We just arrived here at a local orphanage in Medellin called La Casita de Nicolas. And we brought a bunch of gifts and goodies for the kids and we're gonna deliver to them right now. Let's go. And of course, this is a promo video, so I got some testimonials from some guys on the trip to get their feedback and what they thought about Welcome to Colombia and just Colombia in general. And also, I interviewed Matt to get his perspective of why he started this business. Welcome to Colombia is the company who will make it easier for you to come here and see Colombia that you've never seen before, that you've never experienced. A lot of people are afraid of Colombia because of uh, I guess narcos and Netflix and all that stuff but in reality it's a super safe uh, uh, place and you know they took uh, a lot of precautions the government to make this a tourist city and it really shows because even uh, late at night you, you feel safe. Colombia is unbelievable it's nice really safe place like when I come in here told all my friends in the United States they were like are you nuts are you crazy they're gonna kill you boo -boo. guys this is not true they changed it they say they they put the past behind them they moving up to the future and everything is so nice are so friendly yeah I mean there's nothing you can't like about Colombia whenever you go on a vacation especially to a place that you've never been before um, you know, it's always cool when you have people that they're uh, on top of their game. Welcome to Colombia was definitely on top of their game because they provided everything. It was like laid out for us. You know, nothing was a hustle. Everything was, was super easy, you know, super convenient, super convenient. Many YouTube channels show you a lot of good stuff about it, but then there is no really answer. Okay, I'm ready to go. Where do I start? Where do I go? Do I just buy the ticket and fly and rent a hotel. But what if you don't know language? We, you don't know where to go, how to move around here. That's why I'm here. That's why I have a staff that I employed here. I opened the company and they speak English and Spanish. So they provide that assistance and I'm here too. I live in the United States, but I, I spend a lot of time in Colombia at least once a month. And especially when there is a bigger tour, um, I'm here to provide that extra service and make sure everything is good. Boom, that's Welcome to Colombia. If you wanna see the full video that I made and not be interrupted every minute for me talking about it, you can go ahead and click the link in the description. And if you, by any chance, are interested in visiting Colombia and you want to have everything organized for you and not have to worry about anything but just enjoying yourself, then you can visit this website Go again, link in the description, www.welcometocolumbia.co and you can get plenty more information there about future trips and how you can join. And just to recap here, like I was saying in the beginning, it's, it's amazing that I'm finding work through this now because when I started, I had no idea how I would 
be able to make money through this and now it's coming full circle and I'm actually learning how to monetize my passion and that's something I try to I try to share with others not with the intention of bragging about it and saying look at me I'm getting paid it's because I've been inspired by people who make videos like this I also watch YouTube I'm a viewer just like you and I've seen other people do this and I was so interested in doing this that I just decided to try it myself. And now about two years later, I'm doing it and I'm in it and I'm so excited and it's real and I just wanna share this to prove to you that anyone can do it, you can do it too. If you really want it, if you wanna work hard enough, that's it, you have, you have to work for it. It's not gonna come easy. You have to spend plenty of hours, but regardless of what it is, whether it's editing videos or traveling, you might have something you're interested in whether that be some creative skill or, or whatever it may be, you can do it. That's the overall message I wanna to send to you guys. You can do it too. Chase your passions, find some motivation, wherever you find motivation, just do some cool shit and have a good time doing it. All right guys, I will see you in the next vlog. Wait, I don't know if I told you, but soon I'm going to the Philippines. Is that gonna be the next vlog? Nope. The next vlog is actually gonna be again with Matt so Matt's main business is actually in Florida, in Orlando. He has an RV rental company. And I'll tell you more about that in the next video. So I'll see you there. Peace.